Wait a minute, seven Chelsea players in England's 2020 Euro squad? That would be lovely. What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome back to another video. And today's video is on the Euro 2020 or the Euros in 2020. How there could be seven Chelsea players in England's squad. That's a lot. And I'm going to go through each player and explain why they could feature and perhaps if they could even be starting. Now Chelsea have an awesome team and they have loads of internationals. But it's new for Chelsea to have maybe more than one one or two England internationals in their team and to have up to seven is just mega so that's awesome and I want to talk about it in today's video quick reminder to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notifications icon because I upload every single day and if you're new around here you should subscribe and if you want to help me out please do like the video all right then seven players I'm gonna go through them actually six of the seven have already had their uh, international senior call up by Gareth Southgate and the one that hasn't that I'll get to is Reese James but I'm gonna go through all of them and explain why I think they will be in the squad for Euro 2020 and how they will feature. Let me just run through them quickly so you guys know who I'm talking about. First up, Ross Barkley, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Callum Hudson-Odoi, Tammy Abraham, Mason Mount, Fakayo Tomori, and Rhys James. Seven, like I said. Right, let's make a case for each one of these players. Now, like I said, they've all had an England call-up bar Rhys James, but I'll get to him. Um, but let's make a case for why they will be in Gareth Southgate's squad come the Euros. Starting with not only England's top goalscorer in terms of an England international, but the Premier League's top goalscorer in Tammy Abraham. Now Tammy's very, very easy indeed to make a case for. Obviously Gareth Southgate is going to call up Harry Kane, but and Harry Kane will remain his first choice. And less some radical thing happens to Tottenham and he stops scoring and Tammy continues his good form but you know what I think Tammy Abraham should be number two to Harry Kane he's scoring loads and loads of goals he's at a good age he's in a good moment loads of confidence playing in a creative team that plays the same formation as England and Abraham at the age of just 21 has a wealth of experience he's just turned 22 isn't he still a wealth of experience he's got well over 60 first team senior goals throughout the championship and the Premier League loads of experience in different teams now he's played for England at all the levels going up to the senior squad so he's pretty much been there done that in terms of you know experience success and scoring goals Southgate obviously has a strong connection with the England youth from coaching them at a lower level and he knows pretty much about all the Chelsea players with Tammy Abraham if you look at the alternatives for number two to Kane, you're looking at what Marcus Rashford obviously a good player and Callum Wilson I think Callum Wilson might suffer here but you know what, Callum Wilson's probably going to be scoring more goals this season than Marcus Rashford, probably. I mean, that might be a little bit too steep, but I think certainly Tammy Abraham will outscore Marcus Rashford this season. And really, if you're scoring goals and playing well, you've got to be in that team. And you know what, if you compare Tammy Abraham to Marcus Rashford, really he's got more to his game. Rashford's a sort of on-the-shoulder, running behind, sort of pacey wide forward. Tammy Abraham's the quintessential number nine that can really do it all. And if you watch his goals this season at the highest level, he can do every kind of finish. Next up, Callum Hudson-Odoi. Now he's quite easy to make a case for as well. Obviously, Gareth Southgate called him up when he wasn't really getting much game time under Maurizio Sarri. Played a bit in the uh, Europa League, but he started getting Premier League minutes after his international call-up and immediately made his competitive debut as well and played with his good mate Jadon Sancho. Hudson-Odoi, wanted by Bayern Munich, just signed a big new contract to Chelsea a worldly talent to be honest he will absolutely be in the England squad he hasn't been called up for these qualifiers because he's only just got back to fitness but he will absolutely be in that squad right Ross Barkley quickly now the only concern for me well it's not really a concern but concern for Ross is that Ruben Loftus-Cheek is probably a more talented player than Ross Barkley but Ross Barkley is fancied by Gareth Southgate he seems to always call him up and he relies on him to play in that 4-3-3 in the midfield so there's this very strong chance indeed uh, Ross Barkley will be called up for the Euro squad obviously he's been called up for the qualifiers so Southgate might fancy that continuity and call them up again which might make sense. So there is Ruben Loftus-Cheek who again played in the World Cup and since the World Cup has actually got better and better and better in the Chelsea side so if he'd already featured him 
in a you know a competitive competition like the World Cup and he's progressed and got better. Obviously he's injured at the moment so hasn't been called up, he hasn't been playing for Chelsea, but he was you know, he's a huge player for Chelsea. He will be a huge player for Frank Lampard. He's at a ripe age, he's got good experience. Southgate's already called him up. The fact how he's progressed, I think, is a shoo-in that he'll call him up again and he will be part of that Euro squad. But that's the only really thing there is you say who's gonna suffer? Maybe Ross Barkley. Who knows? Next up, Mason Mount. Again, a pretty easy one. Four goals already from midfield. He's been one of the outstanding players in the Premier League this season. Gareth Southgate's words, not mine, but mine as well. He's already got his second senior call up for England and he actually trained with the World Cup squad before the World Cup. Gareth Southgate's been watching Mason Mount for a long, long time. He's a huge admirer of his. He actually preferences him over James Madison in the two games in his last call up where you think maybe is Mount going to get on? Is he going to preference Madison? He actually chose Mount in both games. Madison didn't get on the pitch. Mason Mount is versatile. He suits the formation Southgate plays. Again, a shoe in he will be in that Euros 2020 squad. Next up, Fakayo Tomore, another player who's just got his first senior call up alongside Tammy Abraham. Now, you might think, okay, is he going to be called up? And not only do I think is he going to be called up, I think he's going to be a starting centre back for England. Now, he's very, very talented. Again, one of the outstanding players in the Premier League in terms of how he's hit the scene and just performed at a high level. You think about England centre-backs. Now, who's the, perhaps, preference choice? Well, at the moment, he's playing Keane, which is no good if you ask me. Obviously, Harry Maguire's going to start, but John Stones hasn't been playing. Gomez hasn't been playing for Liverpool. If you really try and make the case and think about all England centre-backs, I think the starting centre-back partnership come next summer will be for Kyle Tomori and Harry Maguire. So again, that's a pretty easy one for me. I feel like he'll see how he's got so much um, senior experience like Tammy Abraham from their loans and also playing at England's under-21s and you know other youth level, playing together, having the chemistry, playing the same system as Gareth Southgate's England. It all makes so much sense. Fakai Tomori gets the call up for me. So finally, Reese James. Now, Reese James is a difficult one. He hasn't got a call up just yet. Obviously, he's only just started playing for Chelsea's first team. Um, he's been very, very impressive. I think Gareth Southgate is lucid to his ability and his talent. But right back is a very, very difficult place to muscle into in that England squad because they've got Aaron Wan-Bissaka, they've got Trent Alexander-Arnold, they've even got, you know, Walker and Trippier and people like that, loads of decent right backs. The thing is, Rhys James is almost a hybrid of Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now, I'm not saying he's better than them at what they do, but he's so good at the defensive and offensive side of the game. People comment on how good defensively Aaron Wan-Bissaka is, but perhaps not very good going forward. Obviously, Trent Alexander-Arnold, very good at going forwards, like second to none in terms of delivery, but he's become a sort of targeted weak spot of Liverpool in terms of getting in behind because he's not really that good defensively. Rhys James is good both offensively and defensively, and if he becomes a starter in this Chelsea side by the end of this Premier League season, then surely Gareth Southgate has to consider him, certainly for the call-up, say if you know Man United finish sixth or lower, Chelsea finish in the top four, he will be one of the right-backs called up to that squad, in my opinion. It will be his first uh, senior call-up, but I believe it will happen. So, seven players from Chelsea in the England squad. Now, that might be a bit ambitious, and that might sound like a bit... I don't know much maybe, but the truth is they're all super, super talented players. And I think Southgate will have the inclination to make this kind of move for Chelsea players because the chemistry between this Chelsea crop of players is so, so good. They've played together for a long, long time. And like I said, Gareth Southgate plays the same system as Chelsea. He plays super direct like Chelsea sort of same offensive combinations and he'll be like you know what I want to keep that team chemistry have these same players even on the pitch you know there could be five Chelsea players in certain starting lineups I mean there could be again call it ambitious but if Tammy Abraham's got 24 five goals at the end of the Premier League season for Kai Tamora is looking really good Reese James is the starting centre-back Callum hudson Adoy is looking like an absolute elite winger, Eden Hazard replacement, and Ruben Loftus-Cheek comes back into midfield and is just bodying people. 
Who knows what could happen? And obviously, he really likes Ross Barkley, so who knows, for continuity, he might keep him in the squad. But that is a lot of Chelsea players. Like I said, from recent England teams, Chelsea have maybe had one or two, you know, like that. even Man United. Man United, like Chelsea, have been struggling of late to get their internationals into the team. But with this new sort of revamped Chelsea with Frank Lampard at the helm, he's brought through all the English lads. I mean, Chelsea will always be riddled with internationals because they're an elite team. You'll, you know, they've got Kante and Giroud of France. They've got a couple of Italians in there. You know, Rudiger goes to Germany. I could go on. Basically, there's a lot of players that will get called up. But Chelsea used to have more like Spanish players in as in internationals than uh, English you know there was a time where they had Murata, Pedro, Fabregas, um, Azpilicueta or something you know all these kind of players getting called up but they'll be like Gary Cahill <laughs> for England and that'll be it but it seems like a whole new dawn right so it does sound ambitious and it does sound like a lot but I think it's up to seven players and it seven players is highly likely in my opinion especially if you think about the competition maybe Reese James is a stretch but because he's so so talented and also remember when it comes to Reese James he's very very versatile and he can dip into midfield and defensive midfield when needed and the utility player at that talent level could come in handy for Gareth Southgate. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think there could be up to seven Chelsea players in that England squad for Gareth Southgate come the Euros next summer? Is that too ambitious? Let me know your thoughts, get in the comments, name who you think can make the squad. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like the video. And remember, if you wanna join the Discord server chat with me and other people from the Football Therapy subscriber GOAT gang, then please do join via Patreon, link in description. You can also follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. You lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby